so you you really wanted me to do this with the helmet on? I mean, seriously, guys, you know, I'm a professional. We, I have standards, okay? Hi, everyone. I'm Richard, the editor of the Watch Gecko magazine. And I was lured here today as a lifelong Star Wars fan with the promise of meeting Anakin Skywalker. I wondered, was I going to meet Anakin Skywalker as a youth before the dark side had taken over? Or was I going to meet Darth Vader himself? Well, unfortunately, none of this proved to be the case. However, the Anakin Skywalker we have here today is extremely rare and extremely special. <laughs> This is the Omega Seamaster, Anakin Skywalker. It was given its name by the Omega guru, Chuck Maddox, who as a Star Wars fan found three Omegas from the 1970s that he wanted to give Star Wars names to. So it was partnered up with the Darth Vader and the Jedi. Now the Anakin Skywalker itself that we have here is a circa 1970 variant and has been loaned to us very kindly by Watchers of Lancashire. The Omega reference is 145023. Now you could be forgiven for thinking it looks a little like a Speedmaster rather than a Seamaster. And that's because it does. And also it has the caliber 861 movement inside it, which was in the Speedmasters of the Apollo era. The case of the Anakin Skywalker is arguably its most striking feature. It's tungsten steel, the carbide finish, and it's octagonal, which really gives it a 1970s look. You wouldn't have any trouble identifying the era this watch comes from. The Darth Vader version is completely blacked out with a ceramic-like finish, and it was the Darth Vader that was actually given its name first, with Chuck Maddox arguing that the Anakin Skywalker, which is the polished steel version, was simply before Anakin had gone over to the dark side. Only 400 to 800 units of the Anakin Skywalker were made. And you may be asking, why have we got this here? Well, A, we're going to write a really good feature on it with the history of the watch, which we'll put out in the magazine. But the, we've borrowed the Anakin Skywalker as a prelude to something which is really exciting that's coming up. Watches of Lancashire are coming over very soon with a huge collection of their most impressive, historic, vintage, and unusual watches that they've got for sale. They're bringing, for example, a 1960s Ed White Speedmaster, which is a watch I have wanted all my life to see. We're going to be filming the conversation. It's going to be between Watch Gecko and the Lancashire staff around this table, and we're going to film it as a video podcast, and then we'll release it out. So hopefully you can join us for this, because it's going to be a fascinating conversation. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure that you log into the magazine regularly to see our features. Don't forget about the Watches of Lancashire chat because it's going to be something very special and you're not going to want to miss it.